Hello pool players, Ron here. Got a great scenario I want to share with you guys tonight. What we've got here is an eight ball pattern and we're on our last ball, we're red, and we have to gain shape on this eight. I saw this recently, I saw an amateur player shoot a shot similar to this pocket hanger and they used just one cushion to get on their next ball and they got snookered and they got trapped. And had they have used some inside spin and gone two cushions, they would have been out, no problem. And that's what we're going to do here. So what I've done is I've marked the red with a paper reinforcement and I've marked my cue ball. So if you want to set something like uh, this up, just put the eight ball somewhere around mid table. And the main takeaway here is I want you to think about flowing into the shot line. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hit inside spin. And in this case, it's left spin. Don't have to hit it very hard. And I want you to visualize the cue ball hitting this cushion, coming over to this cushion, and then coming towards the eight. So, and the other thing too, when you're shooting this shot, you can cheat this ball because we're so close to the pocket. You could hit it more full or more thin. So by practicing, you're going to really get a feel for how you would want to shoot this shot. In this case, I want to hit it kind of thin so that I can make it hit that cushion with a lot of spin and then hit that one and then come towards the eight. So let's see how that looks. Look at that, that's perfect. Dead straight, dead straight. You gotta learn this shot. It's so simple, but yet a lot of players just don't, don't use it. It's really crazy. So we set it up again. Now let me show you something else here. If I hit more top, we could, we can still get position, but our shot isn't going to be as straight in. Watch why. Watch where this cue ball hits on this cushion this time. Try to use the same speed, but a little more top this time. Came out pretty good. I didn't hit it quite as hard, but I do have a cut. The other one was pretty straight in. So let's try it one more time here. So what we're going to do, once again, is we're going to hit some follow, more top, with the same inside spin, left spin. I might have hit that one a little too full too, so we're going to hit this a little thinner. Yeah, see there? Now that was because I hit too much top. So you've got to set these shots up to get a feel for how they are. I could still cut that in, but it's a much more difficult shot than if we do this. Go right back to the first shot. Now we're hitting mostly side spin here. Left side spin. Thin hit. A little bit rolled up a little bit, but it's almost straight. Yeah, it's a little cut. Straight in is right there. So I got a little cut. Let's do it again. You see the beauty of this? I love the paper reinforcement thing. It has helped me so much. It's, it's helped me learn the game much quicker. So here we go. More side spin. Kind of sling the cue ball in there. That's better. That's really good right there. And actually just a little more speed would be even better. It's still not on the cushion. It's dead straight little lengthy. I always try to get close to, I try to get as close as possible to the cue, to the next ball. Makes it so much easier to make. So let's see if we can do that. Same spin, just a little more speed. That's about like that third shot I think I attempted. Now the reason why this is like that, I can still make it. The reason is, if you stun the cue ball, this is a little bit more knowledge here. If you hit this red ball too hard, you're going to stun the cue ball into a different angle into this, into this uh, cushion. We don't want to angle it this way. We want to keep it as, as flat as possible because that's easier to get the cue ball to flow into the shot line. You'll know this when you practice. This is some of the physics that goes on when you work on these shots where you mark them and hit them over and over again. 
Once again, I'm going to have to try to hit this a little thinner, okay, so that I can hit that cushion like I just explained. And I don't want to hit it hard. I want to spin it with finesse. That's really good right there. That's absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh yeah, and all I have to do is keep a level cue, stroke the shot real smooth. Hit the, hit the point going in, not too bad, but we made it, okay? Hit right there. But that is a great shot that you need to understand and learn. Once again, to reiterate, Paper reinforcement for the cue ball and the last ball, the red, the key ball. Set it up so that the eight ball is, you only have one pocket for it. Can't come here, can't go there, can't go there. You gotta set it up, you gotta pull right into, into the uh, shot line here or you're not gonna run out. Best shot so far, because now I'm even closer. Protects from the scratch, you got that, that ball right there, you're out. Learn this shot, it's going to help you big time in your game. I guarantee you, give me some feedback, because I know you're gonna do this some night at your league or against friends, and they're gonna be like, man, that was a good, good choice going two cushions. Thanks for watching everyone. And until next time, like I always say, keep on practicing.